Hey there, it's Jeff, and today I wanted to show you what my bullet journal looks like for November. Um, you'll notice that it's kind of minimalist, uh, and there's a reason for that. Uh, recently, I've been having trouble using my bullet journal. I think I've been having too many uh, extra spreads in there, and I was always flipping back and forth, so I have cut it way, way down as to what I keep in here and what I don't. So here we've got the monthly page. This is your bullet journal standard. Um, now I've also put in a uh, monthly areas of focus, which is something I learned from David Allen uh, in his book, um, Getting Things Done, where you're having these different uh, areas of focus and then you have... Um, how, how far away from the goal and from the actual tasks that you might be. So that's what I'm doing with that. And then I go straight to the week. And so the first week, which will start on Tuesday, uh, excuse me, on Wednesday, I'm going to put down projects that I want to get done for the week. This is um, something where um, a project would be something like uh, rearrange the or um, empty the pantry or uh, create blah 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 make you know, make a um, care package for so-and-so and a pack uh, a task excuse me or project would be a series of discrete tasks and so the the discrete tasks will go under the dailies which um, are just going to be denoted with dots and then it'll be the individual tasks which would fall under some of these projects and some that are just one-off tasks that need to be completed. Now, one thing I've incorporated into um, October was a uh, technique that I learned from another book, which I will I will link. Um, it was uh, called The Year of Productivity, and that was to come up with three things in every day that you are doing your planner. For when you hit the end of the day, you wanna be able to say that you did these three things. Unfortunately, I'm not as successful with these as I would like, but it is what it is. I'm getting better at it, but uh, as you can see, it's very you know, minimalist. It's your basic bullet journal notebook. Now, you might be asking, gee, you know, you do so many things with coloring and stamping. Why is your bullet journal so plain? Well. I find that if I put too many funky spreads in here, at least start going back to um, July and August, it just was too much work and I didn't end up using half of the trackers that I put in. So I just ripped every, well not ripped it out physically, but just um, no longer I'm adding it into the journal. So that's uh, just what I'm going to be doing from here on out and attempt to try to simplify things, try to get things done, try to get more work done. And then once I'm fully comfortable with all of that, then I will start adding other spreads as they occur to me. I'm still likely to add probably right here a uh, waiting on for the month of November for things that I'm waiting to show up or things that other people need to get done before I can do my next action on them. So that's what's gonna go on there. Um, so that's it. I actually was over at uh, Ben Franklin Crafts recently over in Redmond, and uh, I showed them my, my Leuchtturm journal. Yeah, it's pronounced Leuch, Leuchtturm, or Leuchtturm journal. And uh, I said, you know, it's so plain, I, I it's got to be totally uninteresting. And they said, no, you need to come to Planner Night because there's so many people, when you show them pictures of your craft projects and your coloring, and then you show them how you have such a minimalist notebook, those who do minimalist notebooks will feel a lot better about doing a minimalist notebook. So that's another reason I kind of wanted to show you this very, very plain notebook. Now, I, I do stamp in here when I get the chance, just because I've got so many fun stamps, it'd be a crime not to use some of them. Um, I don't use enough of them. I'll probably do more of that. Um, I'd also like to do a video showing uh, the best way to, to color in uh, something like this kind of a, an image in a notebook because you don't want to press too hard because then you start getting um, 
impressions into the pages underneath, and there are things that you can do for that, but that'll be a future video. Anyway, this is my, uh, this is my uh, bullet journal for November 2017, and we'll see what December brings us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit like if you liked this content, would like to see more stuff like it. Also, go ahead and leave a comment below if there's anything that you'd like me to do or if there are any suggestions or comments, just your general comments are fine too. So thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.